So the next piece is the very famous organ piece by Bach. Uh, the Ticada and Fugue in D minor. Um, which you will, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, you will recognize right away. Um, this is a, I don't know if this term, if you understand this term, but in America we use the term fan, term fan favorite. Um, you know, it's a piece that everybody knows and everybody loves. And it's for solo clarinet. I arranged it uh, about 12 years ago for solo clarinet. And it always is a big hit. I mean, people really like it. So I have done it many times. And even after doing it many times, it's still just as much of a challenge now as it, as it was 12 years ago. Right? It's very, you'll see it's it, lots of large leaps and, and um, challenging for the clarinet. but. It really works on the clarinet. Um, you would think that it probably isn't a piece that would work on the clarinet coming from the organ with many voices, but the clarinet, the pipe, pipe uh, instrument of the clarinet kind of captures what the organ can do. Obviously, it's missing a lot of uh, different lines, counterpoint, um, and whatnot, but it captures the, the essence of the piece very well on the clarinet. So um, this is the Takata and Fugue in D minor, uh, my own arrangement um, for solo clarinet. Should I have a big in the right order? <laughs>
famous soloist in the United States. He's a very fine clarinetist. You should look up some of many recordings. Uh, you should look up some of his recordings. Um, John Manassi. Uh, I can tell you how to spell that afterwards. Um, but um, it was written, in, I believe, in 2011. Um, and each movement honors uh, the Benny Goodman at 100 years old. Well, you can see the program. So. Um, we're doing all, we're doing the first, second, and fourth movement. The third movement is actually for solo clarinet. And in lieu of the fact that I just did a solo piece, I'm not going to do the solo movement. So we're just doing one, two, and four. Thank you. 